This has been a very busy week of scientific work for the Expedition 34 crew. So busy, in fact, that by the end of the day, they will have set a new record with 67 hours of crew time this week devoted to space station research. Those 67 hours have been spread over a number of different experiments over the course of the week. They started on Monday with the capillary flow experiment, which looks at how flows in oddly shaped containers passively separate fluids. That could help researchers develop new systems for spacecraft plumbing that use surface tension to replace the missing effects of gravity. Other experiments they worked with over the course of the week include the In Space 2 experiment, studying fluids that change properties in response to magnetic fields. The results of that experiment uh, should help improve brake systems in robotics. Also, ISERV, a joint NASA and USAN program that uh, documents Earth disasters from the station's unique perspective. And the crew spent a fair amount of time this week with Robonaut 2 as well, their robotic crewmate. R2 was set up on Thursday to perform some checkouts after a recent software upgrade. And that work continued today with uh, some looks in particular at uh, the robot's left elbow, which is uh, experiencing some problems. So they were working on comparing it to the right elbow and trying to pinpoint exactly what was causing the hang-up. The crew also worked earlier this week and will continue with a short task today on the EarthCam project. That experiment is organized by University of California in San Diego to enable thousands of students to photograph and examine Earth from an astronaut's perspective. Using the internet, students can control a special digital camera mounted on the space station, allowing them to photograph the Earth's coastlines, mountain ranges, and other interesting points from space. The crew is wrapping up the work week with uh, work on the binary colloidal alloy test, or BCAT, experiment. This one looks at ways to control crystal growth from seeds in microgravity which gives us insight into the physical laws that affect the way matter organizes itself. With the help of astronauts on the space station, in this case, flight engineer Chris Hadfield, scientists on the ground can observe crystal growth mechanisms and crystal structures in space. Also, Commander Kevin Ford and flight engineer Tom Marshburn are both working today on some routine monitoring work that's being turned into an experiment. They're both installing equipment for an ultrasonic background noise test behind racks in the Destiny Laboratory. And they're doing it on their own, with minimal or no interaction from flight controllers here on the ground, as part of the ISTAR experiment. That stands for ISS as a test bed for analog research. Working through procedures this way allows flight controllers to work on riding procedures that don't require interaction with the ground in preparation for future exploration when flight control teams will be so far away from the crew in space that communication delays will make normal conversations impractical. Once they've made their way through this list of activities for the day, the crew is going to have the weekend off with only a few minor maintenance activities to interrupt their rest.